Welcome to Science with Mr. Brazil. Today I'm going to show you how to do dimensional analysis with the calculator. So I have a little problem here where we have the distance equation, which is equal to velocity times time. I'm going to take the velocity of 45 kilometers per hour and convert that to meters per second so that this reaction time, let's say to stop a car of 0.55 seconds, um, hitting the brakes, takes place. Well, let's see how we do this. I'm going to bring my calculator on over. I'm going to use a Casio, but a TI calculator has the same function, and you can uh, find this fraction key also on a TI. And I'll also show you a second method where you can use parentheses. If you click this fraction key and put everything that's in the numerator on top of the fraction bar, so the 45 times 1,000 times 0.55 seconds. I'm going to arrow down. I'm going to go 60 times 60. So that's the numerator. I hit equals. For the Casio, they'll do a fraction, but you hit the SD key, and that will convert it to 6.9 meters. That's how you get it, using the fraction key. Now, let's say you don't have this fraction key on a particular calculator. Well, here's how you do it. Go parentheses, so you'll hit your parentheses key and keep everything in the numerator as one quantity. So don't keep making new parentheses. Just go parentheses, 45 times 1,000 times 0.55. Close the parentheses, so the numerator is one quantity. Hit your divide key. Now I'll go parenthesis again, and this time we're going to go 60 times 60, close the paren, equals, you get that fraction again for the Casio, but hit SD, and now you get your decimal of 6.9 meters. And that's how you use your calculator to do dimensional analysis. Have fun doing science, and use your calculator well. Bye.